As deep concrete includes the design of multi-span continuous beams, this kind of beams can be complex and time-consuming if designed by hand. Even using a software, this task can be very complex. Not only is it necessary to analyze the beam to find the shears and moments along the beam, but also it's necessary to design the reinforcement to find the structural strength and make sure that this strength exceeds the calculated internal forces like shears and moments. But is there any way to simplify this process? Is there any way to make it faster? This is Javier Encinas. And today we're gonna discuss the Beam Design Manager, a feature in ASD Concrete to make this process faster. Let's get started. This is a template in ASD Concrete for the design of beams. I have prepared an example of a three span beam, 24 feet, 24 feet, and 26 feet long, also with a right cantilever, six feet long. The beam itself is 12 by 24, rectangular. Let's go to the loads tab. I have also specified some uniform loads, dead and light, and also some concentrated loads, just to show the process of the design. Graphically, the beam looks like that. We have some uniform and concentrated loads in all spans. And the program generates the shear and the moment diagram. The diagrams can be sorted by load combination. In this case, the controlling load combination is 1.2 dead plus 1.6 light. If we click on this checkbox, the program will show the shear capacity and also the moment capacity in this box. Since the beam hasn't been designed yet, this capacity is not enough for these uh, loads. There are some areas where moments are larger than the capacity and also where the shears are larger than the capacity. If we go to the reinforcement tab, as if concrete shows a number of controls to enter the number of rebars and the size of rebars and also the length of the rebars for the top bars, for the bottom bars, side bars, and stirrups. Of course, the designer can enter here the rebars manually and check that the resulting capacity is larger than the loads. But this process would be very tedious and time consuming. Fortunately, there's another feature in ASDIP Concrete called the Design Manager. The Design Manager is a tool that performs a preliminary design of a concrete beam based on the loading conditions and the rebar preferences. The Beam Design Manager will calculate the required number of reinforcing bars and stirrups in the beam to make sure that the provided strength is enough at every location along the beam. To open the Design Manager, click on the button at the top of the Reinforcement tab, and this is the uh, Design Manager. Here you specify the preferred bar size. For example, in this case, let's use rebars number 6, 3 quarters of an inch diameter, and for the stirrups, number 3. When you click on the design button, the program will attempt to do a preliminary design of this beam. In other words, the program will find the number of rebars of this size so that the capacity exceeds the required uh, internal forces. Let's click on design. And this is the preliminary design done by the program. Here you can see immediately if something is failing or everything is passing. For example, if the red areas are all inside the blue and the green, the blue means BS, the contribution of the steel. The green is BC, contribution of the concrete. So if the red area representing the shear at the beam is inside the blue and the green areas representing the capacity, then the design is okay for every combination. Likewise, for moment, if the red areas representing the moment diagram along the beam, if these areas are inside the blue area representing the capacity, the beam is okay, as in this case. If we go to the uh, reinforcement tab, we can see here the number of rebars selected by the program for the top, for the bottom, for the side bars, and for the stirrups for every span. Please note that if we try to do it by hand in a trial and error exercise, is going to take long time. So this feature can save us a lot of time and effort in the design of continuous concrete beams. If after using the design manager, the design is not satisfactory, then you can go back and check the areas where you want to change it. But that kind of changes would be a fine tuning of the design that would be much faster 
than if you do it completely from scratch at the beginning. If we go to the at a glance tab, we can see a summary of the results where we can see that everything is passing. Here is a deficiency regarding the minimum reverse spacing. That means that the reverse selected don't fit in the width of the beam. For example, in this case, we need to go to the reinforcement tab and change manually the corresponding number of reverse. If we go to the condensed tab, this is a more detailed set of calculations grouped by topic per load combination, this support reactions, the bending moments along the beam, everything is passing, the bending strength, the shear forces along the beam, the shear strength, torsional moments, if we have any, and the torsional strength. Here are the deflections. If we go to the detail tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas and references to the ACI code. So we can follow all these calculations granularly, if necessary. This is a great tool to be presented to the checkers. Finally, the graphically, this is the shear and moment diagram that we saw before. And in the construction tab, the program shows a beam elevation with the spans lengths, also the reverse and the stirrups. As you can see, it's very easy to design a concrete beam using as the concrete with this feature called the Beam Design Manager. This feature can save you a lot of time and effort uh, so that you can boost your productivity. If you like the software, please visit the website www.asdipsoft.com and download the free 15-day trial. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.